Well, for many Idaho environmentalists, the ability to use solar power not only helps them to do their part in energy conservation, but it also makes their monthly energy bill next to nothing. But now, many are afraid that could change. KPVI, news that works for you reporter Rachel Cox Rosen explains. What can you get for $5? A couple coffees, 20 McNuggets, maybe a lottery ticket. But what about a monthly power bill? That's about how much Pocatello resident Mike Larkin pays every month because he generates his own power. Our electric power consumption, since we put it in, has gone to zero. Larkin says a unit costs around 13000 to be installed, but with tax deductions and credits, it costs just over 8000 Larkin, like other net metering customers, pays only for the power power he uses. If a customer generates more power than they're using, they get a credit from Idaho Power. But as more and more sign up for net metering, Idaho Power says this isn't fair to their other customers who make up the difference. We'd like to take a look at that and see if there's a better pricing structure that ensures that you pay the cost that Idaho Power incurs to serve them and, and not avoid paying that cost so that we have to, to collect that from, from other customers. So Idaho Power is proposing creating a new rate classification for new customers who generate their own power, along with starting the process to come up with a new, quote, compensation structure for net metering customers. Larkin is concerned he could be charged more. They don't state what those additional charges are going to be so we have no way to know whether we support it or not. Rachel Cox Rosen KPVI news that works for you. And this proposal has to be approved by the Idaho Public Utilities Commission. They'll vote on March 8th or the 9th and if approved net metering customers would not see a change in their rates as that change would require a separate proposal. Next Monday at 7 there will be a public meeting in Pocatello to discuss the proposal that will be at 7 p.m. in City Hall.